China's infrastructure once again shocked the world. This time, construction started in the Himalayas to build the world's highest railway, the famous China-Nepal Railway. So how Chinese engineers overcame all odds to build this railway? Let's take a closer look in this video. In recent years, with the development of China's science and technology and economy, Chinese engineers have built many super projects at home and abroad, including the Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge and the Sichuan Tibet Railway. Chinese engineers have always enjoyed the title of infrastructure madman internationally. Now, Chinese engineers want to penetrate the Himalayas and build the China Nepal Railway. In this regard, many foreign media said that this project is extremely difficult and it may take China 50 years to complete the construction. Is that really the case? From the conception of the China Nepal Railway in 2014 until December 2021, China and Nepal confirmed the cooperation on the China Nepal Railway. According to the plan, the China Nepal Railway will be extended by the Qinghai Tibet Railway from Shiga City, Tibet, through Jairong County to Kathmandu, the capital of Nepal. The length of this railway is 443.8 kilometers in China and 90 kilometers outside China, with a total investment of 8 billion yuan. If completed, the railway will be the first railway to cross the Himalayas and the highest railway in the world. The first problem faced by the project is high technical requirements and large investment. The difficulty of China-Nepal railway construction will be a new challenge in the history of human railway construction. Compared with China's Qinghai Tibet Railway and the Sichuan Tibet Railway under construction, the technical challenges faced by the China-Nepal Railway are more difficult and complex. First of all, in the area along the China-Nepal Railway, there are strong neotectonic movements and earthquakes, large changes in hydrothermal conditions, and strong glacial activities. Collapses, landslides, flash floods, and debris flows are widely distributed. Secondly, the average altitude of China's Tibet region is above 4,000 meters. From Shigats to the border town of Jairong, the altitude will drop to 2,800 meters. The average altitude of Kathmandu, the capital of Nepal, is only 1,400 meters. Therefore, the construction of the China-Nepal Railway will face an altitude difference of nearly 3,000 meters. The complex terrain and huge drop make bridges and tunnels the main force of this railway. According to the evaluation of professional institutions, after the China-Nepal Railway is completed, 98% of the sections will be bridges and tunnels. Some experts said that the China-Nepal Railway may be the ceiling in the history of railway engineering, and it is the most difficult railway project in the world. In addition, the China-Nepal Railway has a huge investment, and the initial planning cost is 30 billion. Some Chinese experts believe that the cost per kilometer of the China-Nepal Railway will exceed 100 million yuan. It is already equivalent to the cost of China's domestic high-speed rail. The second difficulty of the project is that it has encountered numerous obstacles from India and the United States. When China and Nepal planned the Himalayan cross-border railway, the United States, India and other countries played up the technical difficulty and a high cost of this railway, which would make Nepal heavily in debt and become a debt vassal of China. The United States even launched the Millennium Challenge Project, MCC, with a high profile and used 500 million US dollars in aid as a bait to attract Nepal to abandon the construction of the China-Nepal Railway. The reason why the United States forced Nepal to agree to implement the MCC agreement in 2022 is not only for economic control, but also for turning Nepal into another Afghanistan. 
At the same time, Nepal is used to continuously lure the escalation of the conflict between China and India, which will eventually consume China's national power. However, after India's control over Nepal gradually declined, it changed its thinking and began to target Nepal overtly and covertly, and even imposed sanctions such as an energy embargo on Nepal. However, Nepal did not succumb to the dual pressure from India and the United States. Instead, it firmly stated that it would continue to cooperate with China. China certainly appreciates Nepal's approach, and it has also accelerated the progress of the research on the China-Nepal Railway project. First, the construction of the China-Nepal Railway will revitalize the Nepalese economy. As a landlocked country, Nepal is separated from China by the Himalayas in the north, and there are only a few mountain passes that can be connected. Therefore, most of Nepal's imports and exports must pass through India in the south. Therefore, it is often threatened by India, and it is forced to follow in India's footsteps in foreign policy. The agreement between China and Nepal to build the Trans-Himalayan Railway is a result of the power imbalance between China and India, reflected in the South Asian subcontinent dispute. This railway is also an important link for China to break through India's constraints and carry out diplomatic and economic construction in South Asia. Although the trade volume between China and Nepal is not high, the completion of the China-Nepal railway and the influx of Chinese goods and energy will help Nepal get rid of India's control and improve its independence. In addition, Nepal is rich in resources such as iron ore, zinc ore, and limestone. Restricted by previous traffic conditions, it is difficult to transport these mineral resources out after mining. But after the opening of the China-Nepal Railway, Nepal will be able to convert mineral resources into economic income. Therefore, once the China-Nepal Railway is built and open to traffic, it will definitely be of great political and economic significance to Nepal. This is equivalent to a new lifeline for Nepal. It will greatly reduce Nepal's dependence on India, help to promote the development of Nepal's economy, transform Nepal from a landlocked country to a land-linked country, and help Nepal resist India's threats and blockades. The autonomy and independence of the country will be greatly improved. Once Nepal gains more independent space, it will also strive for more strategic buffer space for China's strategy in South Asia. Secondly, another important significance of the China-Nepal railway construction is to open up the Maritime Silk Road. Geographically, although Nepal is surrounded by India on three sides, its southern part is the Indian Ganges Plain, which is the industrial and agricultural center of northern India. There are several freight railways connecting the Ganges Plain and Nepal. After the opening of the China-Nepal Railway, it will actually open up the railway network from China to India. Since China and India have not resolved the border issue, it is basically impossible to directly connect the Chinese railway to the Indian railway network. However, it may be more likely to achieve interconnection through the indirect connection to the Indian railway through the Nepal railway. After the completion of the China-Nepal railway from Pakutso to the south, it can reach the Bay of Bengal via the Nepal-India Railway Network to the west. It can go directly to Central Asia and Europe via Xinjiang and connect South Asia to the sea and Central Asia. In the future, the China-Nepal Railway will be an important node of the 21st century maritime Silk Road and the Silk Road Economic Belt mainly composed of the Eurasian Land Bridge. On December 27, 2022, the Chinese Railway Technical Assistance Expert Team arrived in Kathmandu, 
the capital of Nepal, marking a new step in the feasibility study of the Nepal section of the China-Nepal Railway. The 8 billion US dollar China Nepal railway will be built in two sections. The first section is mainly from Jairong, a Tibetan inhabited area, to Shigats, and it is planned to pass through in 2027. The second section is from Kathmandu, Nepal to Geelong, because the construction is more difficult, and it is planned to be officially opened in 2030. The construction of the China-Nepal Railway is of great significance to deepening the development and prosperity, oriented friendly strategic partnership between China and Nepal, strengthening economic and trade exchanges between China and Nepal, and further promoting the construction of the Belt and Road. Under the Belt and Road Initiative, the two countries will surely move towards a brighter and more splendid tomorrow. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more great content. See you next time.